coming down Earlham Road next to Earlham House some of you will have noticed this creation which is the the evolution of a caravan made by a chap called David gradually evolving this using things that he's found which I've uh, had a bit of an affinity with though probably more plastic than I would have used myself let's have a look inside so inside there's a potbelly stove there's decorations are up before even the creation has been completed but this is a shower room to be worked on with the added foliage this is the stairs here uh, so, and the colors that's pretty striking got the optics ready it's like a reference. tiny indoor balcony up here and there's still work to do which is, I think he's currently looking for somewhere to take it it's still got a tow hitch so I suppose you can still tow it it's got his plants up there I guess they would have to come off I don't know what his plan for moving these though because uh, there's a lot of plants lots of LED lights <laughs> It's all pretty well insulated as well. Not using Celotex, interestingly, using fluff. So David, where did you come by for the materials for this? I got most of it off um, Facebook Marketplace. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And, and how long have you been working on it for? 18 months. I've right. only got a few more months to go on that. Mostly internal, and there's a little bit I need to do on the roof. But other than that, I'm hoping to have it done in the next four or five months. And I hear you're gonna be on television as well. Yep, Channel 4, uh, Amazing Spaces. And how much would you say in total, if I may ask, do you think it cost roughly? Um, I would say I've spent about seven, eight thousand pounds. The caravan itself cost 500 pounds. And what's your, what's your dream for it? My dream is that I would like to possibly rent it out as a living spaces for yeah. people to enjoy holiday in. It's got Lovely. plenty of space. There you go, that is David's tiny house at Earlham House.